Hello and welcome back to the Commander the Pack YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be attempting to make some smoke effects for blown up tanks on my Warhammer 40k board. I've done smoke effects before on my Armies on Parade board with a blown up Chimera. However I wanted to do some smoke effects for when tanks get destroyed on the board as I currently just stick some cotton wool in the top of the tank to mark that it's wrecked. To start with you need something to attach the smoke effects to. I'm using an MDF base but you can use anything of a suitable size. For the smoke I'm using cotton wool which can be stretched and torn to create wispy smoke like effects. I'm also using cushion stuffing which is similar in looks to cotton wool when stretched and torn but more robust and a slightly different texture. I will attach both of these to the base using Yoohoo glue. I cut the cushion stuffing into strips and start to stretch and tear it on one end to make it frayed and fan out. I then glue them to the base using Yoohoo glue. I do the same process for the cotton wool and try to mix the two materials together to create a blend of textures. This will help give a realistic smoke effect. Once happy with how the smoke is looking, it's time to add some more glue to give it some strength. To do this, I'm going to mix Mod Podge with some water, about 50-50, and spray it on the smoke. Being the cheapskate I am, I use an empty Febreze bottle for this. And modern problems require modern solutions. Once the Mod Podge is dry, it's time to spray paint the smoke. I do this using black and slowly build up the darkness at the top where the thicker smoke would be. You could leave it here if you just wanted pure smoke, but I wanted to add some fire amongst the smoke as the tank would be rather flammable. To do this, I mix a yellow and a red paint and orange. I then stipple this on the base of the smoke and lightly dry brush the orangey color upwards to represent sparks and embers from the flames. Don't worry if you add too much color in this stage as you can always spray paint lightly black again to dull it back down. I then add some black and brown to the top of the smoke, stippling it on again just to give it a slightly darker hue. I then give the entire thing another light spray paint with black. Here is the finished smoke effect. It is by no means the best smoke effect that you will see, but it was very little effort and adds a nice detail to the battlefield. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any feedback or suggestions on future content you'd like to see, then please leave a comment down below. I'll be posting a new video every Sunday, so try and check back on Sundays to see what new nonsense I've come up with. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video.